This is a national health crisis of our time. This is bigger than AIDS. This is bigger than breast cancer. And almost no attention seems to be paid to it. He's not there. He's not there. I don't know where he is, but he's not there. Well, we're all familiar with the Georgia Aquarium. We're here for Big Splash 3. Charlie Shaver, you run the Institute as the CEO. Tell us how big tonight is for what you do. Well, it's huge for us because we're trying to expand our treatment to more and more children throughout the state. We've treated 33,000 children from every county and every school district in Georgia, uh, but there's so many other children out there that need to be treated, particularly children with autism. Well, we're here with a man with a real vision, not only the creator and founder of Home Depot, this beautiful aquarium, but in 1990, you had a vision for the Marcus Institute, and 17 years later, it's thriving and making a difference. What was your vision at that time? Well, we knew that children weren't being taken care of. We knew especially some of the very serious kids with uh, autism and other brain disorders. And there was no place in Atlanta. In fact, there's no place in the Southeast. And I saw these kids, thank God I don't have a child like that or a grandchild like that. But I watched other people, the struggles they were going through, and I knew we had to have a place here in Atlanta. And so we started the Marx Institute in a trailer. And as you can see, it's grown, and we've taken care of about 30,000 children since we opened. That's a lot of kids. We're here with Suzanne and Bob Wright. Your vision is a special part of tonight. Tell us about your puzzle pieces. Uh, the puzzle piece is the piece of the puzzle that's missing with autism. Autism now is one in 150 children in this country, one in 94 boys. In the state of Georgia, it's one in 131. So we began Autism Speaks because our grandson was diagnosed with autism and we couldn't believe the whole country wasn't talking about this terrible disorder. It's really odd how autism has gone from one in 10,000 kids when my daughter was diagnosed just 16 years ago to one in 150 today. And it's great that Bernie Marcus is part of this to be able to really help us out with our plight because it's a very, very unique disorder. There's as many varieties of autism as there are varieties of cancer. And because of that, it's such a broad spectrum that it's important that we have the right resources to be able to do something about it. We're here with Debbie Liss. You're the chairperson tonight. Congratulations. Okay, the thanks. Marcus Institute means a lot to you and their purpose and their mission. How did you become involved? I did it for the children. I've been blessed with two healthy children and two healthy grandchildren. And I wanted to give something back to the community. And I felt by chairing this and helping to raise some funds for the Marcus Institute, um, I could do that. Cami Jones, you have a precious boy with autism. What has the Institute meant for you? The Marcus Institute has meant hope. It has provided us with a safe place for our child to go. And he, the Marcus Institute has given us so much over the last um, 15 months. I, I don't even know that I can even express it in words. Um, he's gone from a child that couldn't even tell you that he wanted more milk to now um, telling me every day exactly what he wants and what he needs and how I need to get it done for him. <laughs> I love you, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. I'll take that. I'll take that.